Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for Your Children by Dr. Neil T. Anderson Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He will do it. Psalm 37, 5 You can and should uphold Christian values and standards in your own home. But when your child leaves your home, he leaves with his own values, beliefs, and personal agenda. This is the first half of the prodigal son story, Luke 15, 11-32. The prodigal son wanted to do his own thing, so his father let him. I don't think the father would have let the boy rule in his home, but he did let him go. We don't like to see our children fail or make mistakes like that. When they do, we are too quick to rescue them from the natural consequences of their actions. The father in the story welcomed his son home after the boy came to his senses. His repentance was complete. Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Verse 21. The critical insight we need is offered by the father. This son of mine was dead and has come to life again. Verse 24. When your child is out of your sight, Only God can bring him to his senses, bring him home, and give him life. You can't go everywhere your child goes, but God can. He is the child's heavenly father, and he is fully capable of protecting him. I know of a dear lady who has buried two sons and witnessed the miracle healing of her husband from a near-fatal car accident, but her hardest trial was discovering that her beloved third son was struggling with homosexuality. Months of dark depression were lifted in one day when she realized that her son belonged to God, so she gave her boy to him. For 11 years, she didn't hear from him. Then one day he called and said he had a Mother's Day present for her. He had come back to the Lord. God is in control. When you pray, you release him to do what only he can do in your child's life. And when you pray, he can mold your parenting style so you can do what he has called you to do in raising your child. Lord, I release my children to your care and protection, and I relinquish my will for them in favor of your will. I know I can't go everywhere my child goes, but I know you do. Please protect them. Give us wisdom for how to parent well. Give us peace in your goodness toward our children and your love for us. In Jesus' name, amen.